So what we're going to do here is show you what happens if you set the odds display to reverse. Incidentally, you can see here that I'm scrolling up and down by doing this or clicking on the ladder, or you can actually use just the wheel on your mouse to scroll up or down. Several ways to do that. Another thing you may be interested in is if you actually just press enter, that will automatically center the ladders. Now, if we set the odds display to reverse, you'll notice that the columns switch over. But what this means now is if you want to place an order at any of these prices, you would actually click where the money is highlighted. So because this race is about to start, I'm not going to do it on this race, we'll do it on the next race so that we can slow things down. You can see there's a lot of activity in this market. But um, if I switch to the next race, uh, we'll be able to see this in slow motion. So you can see we've switched to the next race. We've got 10 minutes before this race starts. And um, I'll show you what happens when you have the odds display set to reverse. This is the way that a lot of people use the ladder. And the reason that they do this is because you just point and click at one of these prices. Um, and that seems to make more intuitive sense than if you display it, uh, the odds display as normal, you're clicking where there is no money. Whereas if you have it set to reverse, you're clicking it where there is money. So if I want to place a back bet at 3.7, I click there. You can see it appears here. If I want to place a back bet, a lay bet rather, at 2.9, I click here. So that's placed a lay bet at 2.9. And you can see you can just click where there's no money in the market. Now, also on the ladder, if you want to cancel a bet, all that you need to do is click on it once. So you can see here, I click here, click here, that will cancel. But also you can see we've got cancel options at the top of the ladder as well. So if you want to cancel everything on the right hand side here, cancel, anything on the left hand side, cancel. So on the ladder display, you can see you've got price in the middle. You can have back or lay prices on either side. This represents the unmatched bet column on either side. And this represents where money has traded. So this is currently saying £7,000 has traded at 305. And the column on the left is displaying your profit and loss in this particular market. So if I put a simple trade in here, if I were to do something like the make market that we did on the one click screen. Basically what I'd need to do is place a back at the current lay price and a lay at the current back price. And on the ladder you can replicate that very easily just by clicking on one side and then quickly clicking on the other. So I'm going to pick, uh, let's say, the third runner here. And I'm going to back at the current lay price, lay at the current back price. Now one of these will get filled in a second. There we go. And you can see the profit column tells you um, how much profit or loss you will make if you let this position run. So at the moment, we're not making or losing anything because this is where the price is currently trading. If we decide to get out at this price, we'll lose 19p. And if we get out at this price, we'll make 18p. This is the fully hedged value. So you have up here this little um, button here. If you untick that, that will display the amount of profit that you're going to make. So you can see here we're trading uh, for one pound in tick value in either direction. So if it goes down one, we lose a pound. And if it goes up, we make a pound. You can see both our orders have been filled. Um, and we backed at one price, laid at the other. That's been taken. And we're a pound up on the deal on this particular market. So to confirm that, if we look in the match bets area, you can see that we backed Kings Apollo at 5.6 for 10. We laid Kings Apollo at 5.5 for 10. The difference between the two is a pound. And that's what we have in profit. You can see that spread all across the entire ladder. If we want to display the fully hedged value, we just can click on this button here. And you can see that that displays it. But you also saw me hovering over here to highlight this tooltip. But that actually tells you what your entire profit in this entire market is. So when you look at this value here, that's telling you the profit per runner. If you display the hedged amount, that tells you the hedged amount per runner. But this number here, if we traded more than one runner, tells you your entire profit across the whole market. So when you want to hedge that position, you can click here and hedge it straight into the market. Or you can leave that as it is there and you can click here to hedge your position across the entire market. If I go into the one click screen, you'll see how this relates to what's going on in the one click screen. So you can see here a profit of a pound we made on Kings Apollo. And if I click on green, you can see that's the hedged amount. And what we did there was we placed one order on the back side, one order on the lay side. Both of them matched. 
hey presto, there is our trade through on the ladder display. So say that was the only trade that we did in this market, typically you'd want to do as many as you possibly could, but say that was our only trade in the market and we decided to get out at this point, we could click here and hedge by clicking somewhere on this ladder here, uh, but most people leave that unticked. You have your total gross uh, profit or loss in this particular column, and then we can click here to hedge our position across all runners, all trading positions across the entire market. So that's what I'll do. So that has hedged the position for us. You can see the profit and loss on each runner across the top of the market here. And if we go back to the one click screen, you can see that that's been fully hedged there as well. So it's that simple to place um, a trade on the ladder. Most of this is pointing and clicking on one side or the other. We know in order to make a profit, we have to lay at a lower price than we back at. So we always want to lay down here and we want to back up here. So the ladder is a very intuitive way of doing that type of trade.